Yeah, yeah, baby. The Nuka Cola Quantum G Field Collector's Box. Let's check it out. What's going on everybody? Today we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Fallout inspired Nuka Cola Quantum G Fuel flavor. It's described as coconut, lemon lime, pineapple, and berry. But like the Dead by Daylight collector's box, this collector's box is also a lunchbox. So I'm gonna open this up, take a look at what's inside, give this new G Fuel flavor a taste, and then give you my thoughts as well as a score. But before I do so, you know what time it is. G Fuel code Danny D is 20% off at G Gfield.com. That's right, G Fuel codes are 20% now. G Fuel has a new code boost system, and now G Fuel code Danny D is 20% off all the time. And with new products or specific sales, that code will be boosted to 30% off. Working with G Fuel has allowed me to continue being a full time content creator. So if you've used G Fuel code Danny D or you're planning on using it, I really appreciate you. But now, let's try some G Fuel. So here is a closer look at the lunchbox that the Nuka Cola Quantum flavor comes in. First off, I just want to say, big fan of Fallout. My brother loves Fallout. I, he has a ridiculous amount of hours in Fallout 4. I'm gonna look it up, actually. Oh my gosh! My brother Cool Ranch Chris has 1,998 hours on Steam for Fallout 4. I knew it was a lot, but I didn't know it was that much. But like I said, homie loves him some Fallout. But enough of that. Let's open this bad boy up. Just like the Dead by Daylight lunchbox, we got this handle on the top, and then it opens up, and you turn it this way, and then we got all these goodies inside. First, we got this sick Fallout G Fuel sticker. Love that. That looks awesome. We got this sick little Nuka Cola Quantum G Fuel bottle cap. That is a nice little touch. I like that a lot. We've got our Fallout inspired G Fuel shaker. Says G Fuel on the side like that. Blue lid with the yellow topper. And we've got a translucent insert? It almost looks like it would glow in the dark, but I don't think it does. Definitely one of my new favorite shakers. Just love the whole Fallout theme. And then of course we got the Nuka Cola Quantum G Fuel flavor itself in this sick looking Fallout themed tub. Definitely got this tub on point. It looks like something straight out of Fallout. And just as a friendly reminder, the G Fuel Energy Formula is 140 milligrams of caffeine, 15 calories, and zero sugar per serving. Let me set that aside just for a second. So I could show you the inside of this lunchbox real quick. We got this foam in here. It's got the cutout for the tub and the shaker, but if you just pop it out, you got yourself a lunchbox. I think it's a genius idea for G Fuel to be doing lunchboxes. And so far, G Fuel is knocking it out of the park. All right, now that we've looked at the goodies inside, let's try this G Fuel flavor. Again, this is supposed to be a coconut, lemon, lime, pineapple, berry flavor, which does give me similar vibes to Compound V. So I'm curious how similar they're gonna taste. All right, we got a nice seal tear there. Time to pop this seal. Oh yeah, baby. We got a white powder inside. Let's give it a smell. Ooh, definitely getting some berry, a little bit of pineapple, and a lot of coconut. Really hope they didn't overdo it with the coconut. Coconut is one of those flavor notes that you can really overdo very easily. But G Fuel usually seems to know what they're doing, so. Got some high hopes for this one. I'm really curious what color it's gonna be. Now I'm just gonna remove my funnel because I use a shaker, not a water bottle, and I don't wanna overpowder my G Fuel. And today I'm gonna be using this clear Dead by Daylight shaker that came with my Dead by Daylight collector's box. And inside I have have 16 ounces of water and some ice. Now we're gonna get ourselves a nice level scoop and boom. And as you can see, it's already turning a neon blue color. Time to shake this bad boy up. All right, that looks awesome. We got this neon blue color. Let's give it another smell now that it's shook up. Ooh, now I'm getting a lot of berry. Smells very similar to Compound V, honestly. Just a little hint of coconut, but I think everything else is kind of blending together. All right, time for the moment of truth. Oh, hell yeah, dude, that's good. I already think this is better than Compound V. Let me break down what I'm tasting for you. Right away, I'm getting some berry. Then I get a blend of pineapple, lemon lime, which I think is also really well blended with some pineapple. And there's just a tiny, tiny little hint of coconut. You can barely even taste the coconut. If you didn't tell me it was in there, I probably wouldn't even notice it except for when I opened the tub. But towards the end, when the lemon lime, pineapple, and berry really come together, you get a really unique flavor and that very subtle hint of coconut at the end is just chef's kiss. You get that nice subtle sweet berry and then a strong lemon lime taste that really kicks in but never really overcomes the berry and it really makes for a unique flavor. Again, I already like it better than compound V and I might even like it more than temp V. 
Temp V is one of my favorite flavors. That one is just sour lemon limeade. It's definitely a flavor that starts out mellow and then ramps up to a more stronger taste that's a little more in your face. So I'm not gonna say this one's very mellow. That berry is really good though. I'm really surprised how much I like the berry taste in this one. I feel like the only people who aren't gonna like this are people who don't like berry. And I honestly can't think of anything I don't like about it. So we might have ourselves a perfect flavor here, guys. And I think if you're a huge fan of Fallout like my brother, you're probably gonna be in love with this. And so with those thoughts, I am gonna give the Nuka-Cola Quantum G Feel flavor a 9.8 out of 10. Basically a perfect flavor. The only thing I would say is maybe a little bit more pineapple to really flesh out that flavor note. I think the hint of coconut is perfect though. And that's really me just nitpicking and reserving that 10 out of 10 for those flavors flavors that I just cannot stop raving about, which who knows, in the future, this one might get bumped up as well, because like I said, there's really not much to not like about this at all. I think everybody who's into G Fuel should pick this flavor up, unless you just really don't like berry stuff. So there you have it. There's my thoughts on the new Fallout G Fuel flavor. Let me know down in the comments. Did you pick it up for yourself? And if so, what do you think? Do you like it more than Compound V? And what would you rate it? Because I'm genuinely curious. Also guys, Christmas is right around the corner. Don't forget to snag yourself or ask your family for a Danny Dorito 23 G Fuel shaker. And if you have not tried G Fuel before, I highly recommend picking up a Danny Dorito 23 G Fuel starter kit. That way you get my shaker along with seven different flavor sample packets. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Stay tuned for more G Fuel reviews very soon. And as always, stay safe, be nice to each other out there, and I will see you in the next one. Peace! Damn, that's good!